Welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we're going to be going over the difference between paying a bill in QuickBooks and writing a check in QuickBooks. Now the difference is both, the, both of these are ways to, to pay your bills and record the transaction in QuickBooks but the difference is the pay your bill method you have to enter the bill in first. So this is typically used when you want to um, enter the bill ahead of time, have QuickBooks track when it's due, and then when it's ready to pay it, then you go into pay bills. The write checks method is you're going to skip the whole entering the, the bill, the invoice from the client, and you're just only going to record the payment at the time of the payment. And that's it. So we'll go through an example real quick. Uh, if you go into enter a bill, we'll pick um, a vendor here. We'll say this is the invoice number for $300. It's a delivery fee for $300. So we'll save and close that bill. So the bill has been entered. Now it's two weeks later, whatever, whenever we're ready to pay the bill, we'll actually go into pay bills and we'll see that bill here. What you're going to see is a list of everything that's outstanding for your accounts payable, all of your vendor bills that have not been paid yet. You're, you can choose whichever one you want to pay. So you can pay multiple at the same time if you want and actually print checks out here or you can use this method even if you're manually writing checks and you just want to record the payment. So we're going to just pay the Chris Markley bill and say that it's... 28th is the date of the payment we're making and we click select to pay the bill if I know the check number uh, again if I if I'm hand if I hand wrote it already um, then I can put that check number in here if not I can print it right out of QuickBooks and we do it that way okay now we're done the alternative method is if I don't want to enter the bill ahead of time I only want to record the payment when it's time for the payment and I'll record the expense at that time then you can go right into here to write checks which you can also get to to the banking menu, write checks. This looks a lot like the invoice screen. So we're going to go to pull up that same vendor. We'll pretend that we're paying for the same thing. We'll assume it's check number 6002 for $300 and put the delivery fee here. And then that's it. And then again, you can print it right here out of QuickBooks or you can just record this check uh, if you had manually printed it. So now we've saved it. The difference between the two transactions is you do not use write checks if you entered the bill previously because it will not connect to that bill and show it paid. If you enter the bill, you must use pay bills to pay it. If you enter the bill and then use write checks to pay it, then you will have entered that transaction basically twice in QuickBooks. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks. See you again soon.